Hey guys, Happy New Year, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my studio project. This will be part two. I already did one part where, where, where I explained the, the concept of the project and then also I did another video where I showed you how, how I modeled uh, this whole uh, thing in Revit and now I'm just going to be showing you what I've done uh, so far and what are some of the changes or basically modifications I've done to it and basically how the whole project is has been progressing since. Uh, but before I get into this whole thing, I would just like to give you a quick announcement. I'm uh, going to be taking some time off in January, a week or two uh, at most, so I'm, I just need to uh, take some time off to rest a bit and I'm going to be making some exciting changes to this channel, so stay tuned for that. Now let's get into the project. So. Uh, here now you can see my uh, screen and this is the project uh, th that I've done so I've added this whole uh, facade with monitors on it so as you can see uh, here I've got uh, it's basically just an extrusion and on that I added this these like weird weirdly shaped monitors the idea behind that was uh, to have some sort of a digital facade so I, I thought some Times Square style uh, the facade would be cool so uh, I went with that because this uh, the, the whole project if you haven't seen the, the previous parts the whole project is a kind of a new age uh, hub where you can kind of come and work and have your office so it's workspace for the 21st century for uh, the, the, those new uh, professions uh, mostly like freelance professions so as you can see uh, if I orbit around uh, from the outside we've got this kind of uh, uh, yeah, that facade that's just kind of protecting the whole building from the, the street and more on that in that first part so if you haven't seen that check that out. Now if I orbit around over here you can see I've got these kind of uh, cube objects maybe if I turn on shadows it will look a bit nicer. Yeah, so as you can see I've got these uh, kind of cube uh, objects and uh, the idea was to have uh, a lot of spaces that are kind of different and then I, not only I didn't want to differentiate these spaces in the interior but also in the exterior so you can see you've got kind of different ambience uh, inside of it so maybe if you prefer working in kind of a white quiet uh, workspace you can go in maybe this cube over here and then if you want to go into some I don't know brightly colored uh, workspace with music you go to this cube so everything is uh, differentiated in that way and the architecture or the exterior of the building uh, kind of shows that what, what's going on in the interior of the building and over here on, on this part we have to kind of integrate uh, some sort of a gallery into the project so I've done that over here here as you can see here's the big kind of entrance to the to the gallery and uh, if I orbit around over here uh, in this part of the building I've got some uh, recreation space so if you want to come to rest or you want to work out I've got a gym a swimming pool uh, some workout spaces so that's uh, located in this part of the building here and above that I've got this hotel and uh, just to show you how this looks uh, from the outside uh, the exterior images that I've done uh, let me just uh, go here and these are the renderings okay this is like the the basic one okay this is from the exterior side so we've got those screens and I've added some vegetation I think it looks uh, nice with the these this uh, kind of wooden framing and then uh, uh, with the vegetation it looks really nice especially from this angle this is uh, viewing it from the park that's located on this side of the street so you can see we've got vegetation going on all over the building and everything is transparent and uh, I, I think it looks uh, really good like that differentiation between space and you can see inside what's uh, what's going on and uh, maybe go to the sections uh, I did perspective sections now sometimes you're going to have to do like regular sections this being a studio project a student project uh, I didn't have to be that precise so I went with the perspective section not only because it looks super cool but that's always a good thing to have on your projects but uh, also because of the uh, type of space that they have over here as you can see maybe if I go zoom in maybe in this part of the building I've got a lot of these gaps 
galleries and just creating a simple section you can't really see that all that well so now in this type of a section you can see when you come in over here there's empty space above and just going two floors upward so there's a kind of a comfortable ambient over here and then you can see the kind of the, the depth of space especially when you have shadows in your section uh, that's why of course I did this with shadows and here as you can see we can see the depth of space that this is just one cube over here and then we have a cube that's uh, a bit uh, back and back and back so, so you can see even in the section you can see that kind of uh, differentiation of space that's that's going on Okay, let's go down here. Same thing here, as you can see here, we've got some stairs and uh, just because of having that perspective section, you can see the depth of the building a lot better. Uh, so that's why I chose to go with a perspective section. Okay. Over here as well, we've got this big gallery with the glass, uh, this kind of sloped glass uh, on the bottom. So you really wouldn't be able to uh, understand this uh, quite that easily uh, just looking at the regular section, but the perspective sh section shows it very well. Okay, let me cancel out of this. Maybe we can go through floor plans. So I haven't solved the whole building uh, just because I didn't have enough time. Uh, but if we zoom in over here, uh, let me just show you the uh, the floors that I did. Uh, can I do the basic design? Of course, this will uh, need to have some modifications. This is just the basic idea of how the space works. So for the gallery, uh, you come in over here. You've got a big lobby here. You can leave your code, buy the ticket, whatever uh, here we've got some bathrooms connected to the staircase and all of the elevators here we've got a small uh, gallery like uh, maybe something that can change from month to month uh, something that's always there uh, on the other side we've got a small souvenir shop and here uh, we ha have some sort of a presentation hall where you can go and maybe have some lecture lectures or something like that or I don't know book promotions stuff like that so that's located over here now moving on uh, let's zoom out a bit here uh, for my office spaces uh, you can enter from uh, three sides so this is one of those uh, buildings now this is completely separate from the rest of the building so this works alone and then we have this one this one is uh, connected to the, the rest of the building so this whole even though in the first floor it's it looks separate uh, up on higher floors it's all connected and uh, the third uh, entrance for the uh, for the the building we have here for the uh, this is for that spa fitness recreation building and here we've got a separate entrance for that hotel up top so if you want to go to the hotel you just go over here in the elevator takes you straight to the 10th floor where the hotel starts and you don't have to go through the whole uh, building. And let's go here to just the uh, office space. So as you can see here you've got a little entrance and here you've got a little hall. Uh, and here I just added some walls because uh, I want to have some sort of presentation uh, panels for all of the businesses that are located above. So that's uh, why that's there for. And then we've got a simple staircase. Same thing uh, over here. And uh, here for uh, for that recreation rooms, I've just got a simple pool uh, located here on the bottom floor because of course you would have floor uh, pool on the bottom floor. You don't want to have pool on like the top floor. It's a lot more expensive to place it there because it's so heavy. And here you, you have the uh, structural core with the with the staircase as well as the elevator for going to upper floors. Uh, now let's skip to then level two or nope uh, yeah this one okay so here you can see I uh, this just shows you the type of the office we have so this is that gallery so this is that entrance below here we've got some uh, uh, just some free office space where you can come and have meetings stuff like that and then you continue on going ahead so uh, I want to have a lot of these small floors and each floor is kind of its own open space office where you can come now some in some places here it's like just for meetings and in other places like over here you can see we've got uh, just 
straight room and then here you can rent out a table and you can work. It works kind of on the principle of we work offices. Uh, I talked about that in one of the previous videos so uh, if you want to check that out uh, just go j just go ahead over there. Here I've got just some gym space and here uh, again a gallery but uh, for the pool because the swimming pool is underneath but here I've got uh, of course you need to have a glass wall because you don't want to have that pool, pool air pouring into your gym. And yeah, so that's the idea of the building. So just having a lot of those small, uh, sorry, <laughs> small spaces uh, where you can work and they're all kind of separated. Uh, but uh, one more thing I wanted to show you, uh, how I actually assembled this whole model, uh, because when working in large uh, models like this one, it's really hard to start working just to get started. So uh, my approach uh, was uh, that I, decided to go ahead and it, as you can see if I select this part it's a linked file so this is a linked Revit model so what I did I just selected one part of the building I grouped it and then here you can uh, you can go from group to link so I transferred this group into a separate file so now this is a linked file and then I solved only this uh, small building and I worked out just the, the whole approach uh, to, 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 to the whole office layout. Maybe if we go to one of these floors, uh, yeah, let's... Okay, yeah, here we can see. Come on. Okay, here you can see basically my approach to uh, solving this building. Maybe if I zoom in a bit. Yeah, so we've got a lot of these different spaces here. We've got some separate offices and here I've got uh, kind of a free-flowing open open space office. I was really inspired by Google offices to kind of uh, for modeling this space and a lot of stairs and a lot of going up and down and a lot of galleries. So I figured everything out on this separate building if I go back into Revit. So that's this building. And because I linked it as a separate file, I, I didn't have uh, all that much geometry to work with, so uh, Revit was running a, a lot more smoothly and just uh, less distractions. So that's just something, uh, uh, just an approach that you can use for uh, building complex buildings like this. So linking files not only for uh, working with multiple people, but also you can use linking files when you just work on your own on a uh, complex project, just so you can uh, kind of uh, solve everything a bit easier. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, my studio project. I hope you have found this uh, interesting. And if you want to get this uh, project file, I'm going to be uh, uploading it to my Patreon. So first link in the description. If you become a patron uh, for only $5 a month, you can get access to all of my project files. I mean, I've got 400 tutorials and most of those have some project files. So check those out. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be taking a little break and then I'm going to be coming back with some changes to the channel that are going to be really exciting. So thank you for watching, uh, please subscribe, like and share this video uh, and yeah, I'll see you in a week or two, bye!